motivation is to see people make smarter, more informed decisions. You don't just make good decisions. You make them because of information. I am here to inspire, to inform and to instruct. And I firmly believe that you cannot tell a teenager what to do. You cannot instruct a young person unless you've inspired them. Okay? Unless there's something about you that makes them go, you know what, I really like that person. It's important for me to share with you where I've come from so that you know that I actually know what it's like. Everyone in my life wanted something from me. They wanted to control me. I needed to fill out a form, come here, sit there, don't move. Every classroom I would go to, I was sitting out the front on a table with uh, a piece of paper and a pen. I was causing pain and problems for everyone in my life and uh, that started to build a whole lot of anger up in me because I wasn't getting answers, I was just getting um, rules and consequences. You know what you did, all right? So you were looking on your phone, but the minute I addressed you, you looked in the eye, okay? Do you know that there's some young people that can't even do that? One of the most powerful things that you can do to change behavior in your life is to arrest your thoughts. The very close friend of anger is pain. That's what we need to look at. That's what we need to deal with. Yes, we need to deal with the consequences for the anger and the outburst, but find out where the pain is and the anger will break down. And you know what the hardest thing about parenting is actually parenting. It's when it goes wrong and you've got to enforce a, a punishment or pull a boundary in, it's continuing to keep the boundary in place. I take principles from racing and I convert them into analogies to help young people stay on track in life. The analogy that I draw here is the twisty bits are like our relationships in life. They're the most important bits, they're the fun bits. If you've got a, a, a phone, how quickly can relationships go from being on to off? One text message, one Snapchat, one Facebook post, one Instagram pic, one phone call, and people who've been mates for years, based on what someone else said, make a decision to end that friendship or to go even further with it and cause pain to that person. And I've talked to so many young people who go, I want to do this or I want to do that, but yet the people they're hanging out with are going in a completely different direction. If you want to do something with your life, if you've got a dream or if you've got a passion that you want to follow, find a way to get around the best people who do that thing. The biggest deficit I see in young people is social and emotional intelligence. To the young guys in the room, I want to challenge you to have a look at your life, to have a look at how you spend your time, to have a look at what you do with your energy, because that's your currency, that's what money you've got. I learnt a lot about like feelings and stuff, what you, what you should do when you're, when you're a bit cranky. Yeah, it was great, it was uh, really well, well worth the time. Uh, I saw a very different approach to sort of working with children, which was fantastic. He knows how to like get in your head and in, a, in a good way with people. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't say it in like a really like rehearsed way. Of yeah, it it's more just let's. I know what I'm talking about. Let's just do it on the spot yeah. sort of way. So, so very inspirational.